In this video, we'll cover how to lock all cells except for a few in Excel. This is relevant if you have a workbook where you want the user to be able to edit certain cells but not others. In our example, we have the shift patterns in a call center and the purpose of this is to enable agents to view their shift patterns in the coming weeks. Most of the worksheets should therefore be protected and locked from being edited to prevent agents changing their shifts. However, there is one aspect which we want to keep unprotected. At the top, we've created a tool which automatically retrieves the shift pattern for a given agent on a given date. Please see the link to the video in the description for further information on how we created this tool. Now, in order to use this tool, agents need to be able to edit these two cells and select values from the drop down menus. Therefore, these two cells must remain unprotected. To protect the workbook and lock all cells, what we can do is simply right click our sheet and then click protect sheet. We can then enter a password like 1234 and then click OK. Now we won't be able to make any changes to any cells and only the user who knows the passwords will be able to unprotect the sheets to make any changes. However, we aren't able to edit our input cells either which means that agents won't be able to use the tool that we've created. In order to overcome this, there is an additional step that we need to take. Firstly, let's unprotect our worksheets by inputting the password we created earlier. Next, we're going to select the cells which we want to keep unlocked. In other words, our input cells. We will right click them click format cells and then enter the protection tab. Next we will untick the locked option and click OK. Now when we protect our worksheets these two cells should remain open to editing. Let's test it out. So let's once again right click our worksheets and then click protect sheets Let's input a password and click OK. Once again, we're unable to edit the shift patterns, but now we are actually able to edit the input cells. When we do this, this automatically updates what the shift pattern would be. Therefore, this creates a win-win. The agent is able to view their shifts without making any changes and at the same time, they're able to use the tool to help them find their shift quickly. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.